Sand City Sports to the business, folks. The NBA season kicked off yesterday, and it was a good feeling, that first step on a thousand mile journey and we all saw Jimmy Butler out there on the podium with his hair straightened out looking like Andre 3000 talking about he's emo it was superb as we've all seen the NBA has reshaped itself in the offseason with blockbuster trade that have created on the surface a haves and have nots type of system so we're gonna start in the east right here in the Commonwealth of Boston I have to pick the Celtics as my favorites in the Eastern Conference because of what they've established with their big four. You have a true point guard and floor general in Drew Holiday. People sleep on his offensive abilities. His defensive skills are well known, but he is going to most certainly put Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in every position to be successful, not to mention Kristaps Porzingis with what he's going to do in stretching the floor with the three ball and oh folks, please remember, he's an underappreciated defender and rebounder. You know we have to stop by the frozen north, not quite Toronto, but we're going over to Milwaukee and what they did in bringing Dame Lillard to town. No doubt about it, Dame Lillard and Chris Middleton with their offensive firepower on the wings of the best all-around player in the NBA, Giannis Antetokounmpo, with their bigs up front, Brooke Lopez and Bobby Portis. The Milwaukee Bucks most certainly will be hungry and formidable. Again, my only caveat is they have a first-year head coach in Adrian Griffin. Can he put it all together in year one? We saw that that was challenging for Joe Missoula. Out west, most certainly a phoenix is rising in the desert. The Suns, not only do they match the hunger to win that championship on their own accord, I'm talking about a one Mr. Kevin Durant. Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, all super hungry to prove that they can get onto that pedestal. And the Phoenix Suns owner, Mott Ishbia, apologize if I mispronounce his name. He has come in throwing haymakers. Nurkic is exactly what they needed, a very serviceable big. I don't want to hear about pick and roll defense. He's going to get down there and get paint points. He's going to rebound. He's going to effort. And they shored up their bench with Grayson Allen, Nazir Little, Keon Johnson, athleticism to come in and to replenish i have to pick the phoenix suns as my favorites in the west we all know that mike malone knows his business and the joker has not gone anywhere add to that a healthy jamal murray with aaron gordon giving you the energy points yes he can still get up and down the floor and michael porter jr healthy lights out shooter their reserves and pieces around in that dynamic system i'm not sleeping on the defending champions out west to make it happen a second time and get to the finals and prevail with the experience. Lastly, I got to conclude. If you don't support women's basketball, you're not a true basketball fan as far as I'm concerned. And we have a juggernaut of a matchup in the WNBA Finals. Please do not sleep on this. Las Vegas Aces going up against the New York Liberty. We got Aja Wilson on one coach. We got Diana Stewart on the other coach. A lot of very talented supporting pieces around them. WNBA Finals looks like it's going to be one for the books. You need to tune in folks thanks a lot we'll see you next time folks